okay? <laughs> That's a doll. Shuang, this office didn't quite work, did it? That's because I was rudely interrupted before I could finish. What's this? You got your wish. The building manager is circulating a petition to kick the homeless out from in front of this building. To where? Does it matter? Well, did they present them with other alternatives? I doubt it. Lakeisha, I know you have a problem with this, but the homeless just can't go around accosting people. Just this morning, that guy called us bitches. Well, he was an idiot. Well, those are the idiots that people identify as being the homeless. So are you going to sign the petition? Yes, Emmy, but if you snatch the flashlight from well, me Well, if you would just time, leave it still. I mean, it's getting late. We should go. I remember I was in the kitchen, and that, that would have been right around here. I remember that because it was humid, and my fingers swell when it gets humid. And I had taken it off and put it right on the, in the sink, the sink, the sink. Shine the light around here, right here. What happened to the woman who said the only thing that mattered was that her family was safe? That was before I discovered that the only piece of gold that I own and probably ever will own was missing from my finger. Collier gave up a lot of beer for that ring. Come on, shine that light around here. <sighs> Unbelievable. What, did you find it? Not the ring. Davis's Bible. Very, very good sign. Maybe it'll even get him out of his bunk. Oh, he's gonna be so happy. Hey! What about your ring? It's just a ring. You were absolutely right. The most important thing is that my family is safe. Anything that's left or not left doesn't matter. Come on. We can go now. Let's go outside. Here you go. Come on, Matt. Davis, honey, if you're hungry, I I'm fixing breakfast. I'm just gonna grab some juice. Mary Elizabeth, why do you insist upon cooking with all this food here? The neighbors went to so much trouble to make you feel welcome. Did you hear that, Davis? If we don't eat, we're insulting the neighbors. I said I'm not hungry. Oh, good news. I found your Bible last night in the rubble. Isn't that great? Not interested. But in the Bible or life in general? Take your pick. You have got to talk to him. He just needs some time to himself, should? Don't push. I should probably go wake up your father. Don't push. Don't push. Do you know that he has not done one thing to move this process forward? Not one. Honey, he's in mourning, which is something you have yet to do, which is scaring the hell out of me. Well, I'll tell you what. When I'm ready to give myself a pity party, you'll be the first to get an invitation. How's that? Okay, look, why don't I take the day off? We could, I don't know, hang out, maybe go shopping. Well, that happens well, to be I'm number glad. six on my list, right after clean house. You're cleaning the house? I don't want Mother to even notice we're here. Well, then you better create a number seven on that list. Stop deluding yourself. That's right. He's one of the best. I guarantee he'll do a That is the third job he's turned down. I mean, maybe he just doesn't want to go right back to work. It's only been two days. It's the opportunity he's been waiting for all his life. He needs to take advantage. Mary Elizabeth, I think your mom's out of beer. I'm going to go make a run. Well, you know, we had that meeting with the insurance adjuster later. You might have to take it yourself. Number 20, give Collier a piece of my mind. Another few inches, you would have been squishing all the way to your office. Squish, squish. Should I do something to you? The petition. You signed it. Oh, yeah. It ain't a lot we don't hear about. People assume we're invisible, and I thought you were different. Max, that petition had nothing to do with you. Just, just those people. Those people? Those people happen to be me, baby. I'm talking about your friend over there. Clients have complained, and people have a right to feel safe and comfortable in their place of business. Well, what about our place of business? Aren't we allowed to feel comfortable and safe? Of course you are, but what about shelters? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be easier? I mean, I didn't choose this life, counselor. This is the card I was dealt. And how I played is my own damn business. 
I just don't know what got into her. She's never acted like that before. Acted like what? Homeless? That's not what I meant. What happened? Nothing. It was, it was just an accident. Renee discovered that the homeless woman she gives coffee to has feelings. Excuse me? I'm sorry. She heard about the petition. Oh, well, how did she hear about the petition? She's homeless, not deaf. Okay, Lakeisha, what do you propose we do? Clients no longer want to meet here, and you can't walk two feet without somebody bum-rushing you for money. We did not create homelessness. No, Ronald Reagan did. Oh, that is such a load of crap. The deinstitutionalization of the mentally ill began in the 50s. And what about drug addicts and alcoholics? Did he put them in the street, too? Stacy, they make up a very small percentage of the homeless. But that's who we see. Max is not an alcoholic. How do you know that? You just refuse to see that she's just like everybody else down there. How about this? The fastest growing homeless demographic is single women with children. Lakeisha, I'm aware of the statistics. I know that there's, there's a shortage in public housing. I know there are problems with the shelters. Even though there are shelters, they choose to live on the streets. Oh, and would you choose to live on the streets? Did Mrs. Sims choose to have her home blown away? Lakeisha, that's different. That's because we know why Mrs. Sims is homeless. Look, we are all just a few paychecks and a disaster away from being homeless. These are all extenuating circumstances. Do you know what Max's circumstances are? Hey, Charles. Paul. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Think the key check will go out with me? Well, let's see. She's in her late 20s. She's single, workaholic. We got a shot. Would you have a problem with me being deaf? But if she does, then move on, because if she can't get so, back... So, I'm at wild. Would you have a problem with me being wild? Well, let's see. She's militant, listens to angry rap. Not a shot in the hell. Uh, if I had to stand in one more line, I was gonna scream. This was fun, honey. But what's the real reason you wanted to shop? Well, Grandma, ever since I started high school, we haven't been seeing that much of each other. You know, not like we used to. Spill it. Okay, so Renee's having a sleepover on Saturday, and I want to go. And where do I fit in? Well, you let me come over and spend the night at your house. Hmm? Sounds harmless enough. Okay, but here's where it gets a little tricky. I'd really be over at Renee's. Oh. Oh, now I see the problem. You certainly couldn't be in two places at one time. Right, so we kind of have to keep this little secret from Mom and Daddy. You mean lie? Well, I like to think of it as not coming clean with all the info. I don't think you give your parents enough credit. Surely they couldn't still have a problem with this. Wanna bet? There's no way in hell she stayed overnight in that colored girl's house. Well, I have to admit, Mrs. Otis, I am a little uncomfortable about all this. I just don't see why Emmy has to miss a great 